friends, we did a lot of art lessons in 2023 and I hope you had a lot of fun drawing with us. I picked out my top five favorite lessons from last year. I hope you like them too. Hey, we're friends, Siri and Jaw Rabbit. Yeah, for Chinese New Year, this is the year of the rabbit. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use markers. You also need some? Paper and something to color with. Yeah, at the end, we're gonna color with our Art for Kids Hub markers. You don't have to use the same markers. You can use different markers or even colored pencils or crayons. And we're also using marker paper because we're using markers. All right, you ready to start? Yes. <laughs> Let's first draw our rabbit's nose right in the middle of our paper and a little towards the top so that we have room for the body. So I'm gonna draw the letter V right about here. Then we're gonna draw the top of the nose and then let's color in that shape. Looks like an upside down triangle. Now we can draw our rabbit's mouth. I'm gonna draw a U, starts in the middle, just below the nose and it goes to the left, and then we're also gonna do the same thing to the right. Now let's draw the eyes. I'm gonna draw a circle right here for one eye, and the same size circle over here for the other eye. Yeah. Now let's draw a small circle in the top left of each eye. This is to make the eyes look shiny. We're gonna leave this little circle white, but color in the big circle. That part we sped up, so remember to pause the video if you need extra time. Especially during any part of the video, we might go too fast. So you can always pause and even rewind if you need to. Okay, now let's draw the top of our rabbit's head. I'm gonna start here on the left side, and we're gonna draw a upside down U that comes around like this, and then back, back down. And we're giving our little rabbit kind of a forehead. Yes, <laughs> good job. Then let's draw a little sideways W, letter W, on the side of each cheek for the little fur sticking out. And then we can draw our little rabbit's chin. I'm gonna turn my paper sideways so it's a little easier. I'm gonna draw a curve that goes underneath the mouth and connects to the other side. Let's give our rabbit a traditional Chinese hat. We're gonna just draw another upside down U shape right above the head. <laughs> Then we can draw a little line at the bottom of the hat. And we can also draw another little bump on top. Then let's draw two curves, one here and one going the other way. And also let's draw another curve on each side. It doesn't really look like a rabbit though. What are we missing? Ears. Yeah, the really long ears. Let's start right here next to the hat. I'm gonna draw a curve that comes up to the left and also the same curve up to the right. Yeah, and then let's draw another curve that starts up here and we're gonna curve down and connect into the head and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Then we can also draw the inside of our rabbit's ear. I'm gonna start here, inside the ear. We're gonna follow along, and then right at the bottom, I'm gonna get a little thicker. You see how it kinda of curves the other direction? Just barely. And then let's do the same thing on the other side. We finished our rabbit's head. Now let's draw the body. We're gonna start by drawing the arms and we'll start over here and we're gonna draw a line that comes down to the left and also a line that comes down to the right. Then we're gonna curve around for the arm and then back up, but we're gonna stop before we connect to the chin. And then we'll repeat that same step over here and we want both arms to try to look the same. I wanna to try to make them look the same, same width, same length. Let's also add two little lines for the fingers on each hand. Now let's also give our little rabbit a traditional shirt. I'm gonna start here and draw a little line across for the sleeve and a little line across for the sleeve. Then let's also draw a little V for the collar or the neck right under the chin. Okay, now let's draw the rest of the shirt. We're gonna draw a line that comes out on each 
little hand. And then we're gonna connect those two lines together with another line. Okay, then let's draw the body. We're gonna draw a small little U shape that comes down, across, and then connect back up. And then let's draw the feet. I'm gonna draw one little foot here on the left. Kind of looks like an oval shape, but only part of it since it's underneath his belly or her belly. Then we're gonna draw the same foot over here on this side for the right foot. Yes, and then let's also draw two little toe lines on each foot. And we can also draw a little tail sticking out to the side. Let's also give a rabbit a money envelope, one of those red envelopes. And we're going to draw a little line that comes out from the side. Then we're gonna come down. And we can also go back in, and if we're below the hand, we can go to about there, and then connect back into the hand. Yes, we did it. Oh, let's draw a little sideways V for the top of the envelope. Awesome, we finished drawing our New Year's rabbit, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Like we mentioned before, we're using our Art for Kids Hub markers. If you have the same set, you can use the same colors that we're using. I have 182, this is a light blue, that we've used for the inside of the ears and also to trace around our little rabbit. Because our rabbit is white, we use the light blue to add some shading. Then we're using 35 yellow and 15 red. The yellow I'm using for the hat, and also we're gonna add a little design down the shirt. You can do this with me, we're using the fine tip part of the marker. We're gonna draw a line that goes straight down the front of our little shirt. This is a traditional shirt. And then we're gonna draw lines that go across this way. So I'm trying to make them a little thicker just so they show up. I'm gonna go all the way down the shirt. Maybe we'll just do three. Oh, we could do some more all the way down. There we go. And then on each side, I'm gonna add a circle on each side of these little lines. And we'll do that all the way down as well. Then I'm gonna switch to my red marker and we're gonna color in the rest of the shirt red and also the little money envelope. Okay. Oh, and the hat. Let's fast forward again. Dad, you did a great job in your drawing. <laughs> you did a great job too, Austin. Thank you. I love how they turned out all colored in. I hope our art friends will pause the video to match your same coloring. You can also color your drawings any way you want and even add a background. Yeah, you can have fireworks or more rabbits. Oh, that would be awesome. Lots of fireworks and maybe even some lanterns. We would be a lot of fun drawing a rabbit. And we also want to wish you a happy Chinese New Year and we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, our friends, too, we're going to draw Oculus Quest 2. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along. These things are really cool, and you have one that you play a lot. Yeah. What's your favorite game? Uh, Gorilla Tag. Gorilla Tag, yeah. It's really funny when I walk by because you look like a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're using markers, but you can use whatever you have at home. You also need some? Paper and something to with. Yeah, you're ready to start? Yes! We're first gonna start by drawing the headset, and we're gonna draw the front of the headset, which is kind of a rectangle shape, but it's really round. So let's start in the middle of our paper. We're gonna draw, well, this is gonna be a fun shape to try to draw. We're gonna draw big corners, rounded corners like this. We're gonna come around, oh, concentrating. <laughs> and um, maybe I'll come back up here to draw the other side to try to match. Yeah, I get really quiet when I'm concentrating. Same. <laughs> Awesome, you did a great job. I love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. They're both turning out awesome. 
That's a tricky shape to draw freehand. Yeah. And it's okay if your drawings look different too. I'm sure they're turning out awesome. The most important thing is- To have fun. Yeah, and to- Practice. Practice. Remember to have fun and practice. All right, you ready to keep going? Yes. Now let's draw and make it look more 3D. We're gonna draw it tipped up just a little. So I'm gonna start here on the left side. We're gonna come down and maybe just extend the side on each side, about to there. Yeah. Okay, now this next part is gonna be really tricky. We're gonna to try to add the nose piece or the little dent right here where your nose goes. Nose goes. Nose goes. <laughs> <laughs> then we're gonna draw. So I'm gonna start here. We're gonna curve around and we're gonna match. Oh, maybe even, oh, come over here too. This one's tricky, huh? I even think this one's tricky. We're gonna come closer together and then right here in the middle, we're gonna come up for the nose piece, get really close. And then we're gonna come back down and connect to the other side. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome, you did it. That's a perfect little spot for your nose. Okay, now let's draw the padding. And this part's the little black piece. We're gonna start here and do the same thing. We're gonna add another layer on each side. And then we're gonna just repeat that same line. We're gonna come across, we're gonna come up in the middle, follow it back down, come over, and then blend it into the other curve on the other side. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, now let's draw the side strap. We're gonna draw a shape that comes out like this, and then we're gonna come down, and we can stop there. Oh, we can even just come in. Let's do the same thing over here. We'll start in the same spot, come out the same distance, down to match, and then back in. Now let's draw the top strap. We're gonna draw two lines that come out of the middle. And then we're gonna draw a line across to connect. And then let's also draw the cameras. We're gonna draw a circle right here and a circle over here on this side. And then there's more cameras or sensors up here. We'll draw two ovals right at the very top corner. Let's also write Oculus right here in the middle. I'm gonna first uh, draw the L just to the right of the center. So if this is the center, I'm gonna come down a little and I'm gonna move over and draw the L. I know it's a weird way to write the word, but this is gonna help us center it on the device. And then right next to it, we can draw the letter U, C, and O. And it's all lowercase. And then we're gonna draw or write the letter U on the other side. And last, we're gonna add the S. I drew that really big, but that's okay. I thought it would be fun to draw one of the controllers, but instead of doing that, I think we need to add our face because we're wearing it. Yes. Wouldn't that be fun? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think you should draw your face and I'll draw my face. All right. No, mine's bald, so my, <laughs> my head is bald. <laughs> so I'm gonna draw uh, my top of my head coming down like this and connecting. Oh, I'm kind of flat at the top of my head. <laughs> my head's flat. I'm gonna draw it curving <laughs> like that. So there's the top of my head. Do you wanna add my kind of messy hair right here? Cause every time you put your strap on, yeah. it's- It like your, messes my Yeah, your hair's hair. sticking up like this and then it zigzags down to here on each side. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there you go. And then the same on the other side. And our art friends, you guys can change your drawings to have it look more like you. So if you have different hair, like curly hair, you could change the details to match so it looks more like you. Okay, now let's draw the bottom of our head or our jaw. I'm gonna draw it coming down like this. I'm gonna come across and then I'm gonna come back up over on the other side. <laughs> Next, let's draw our nose. And when you're wearing the Oculus, especially you, you can barely see your nose. Mine would probably stick out further, but I'm just gonna add two little nostrils because that's basically all you can see. <laughs> 
And are you, is yours completely hidden? <laughs> I can draw a little bit. Yeah, you can also draw the nose differently if you want. <laughs> and then I'm going to draw my mouth like crazy, like I'm yelling or screaming because I'm getting scared. So I'm going to draw <laughs> like this. And then I'm going to draw my teeth showing. Ah, I'm screaming. Ah. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to draw teeth down here too. And you could draw different. I don't know what my teeth are doing. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna change that. Let's see. I'm gonna add them just going straight across like this to keep it simple. And then I'm gonna I'll draw my tongue in here. <laughs> and then I'm gonna color in the rest. Oh, that's really cool. I like yours. Yours looks more like a smile. Okay, we could also add maybe. I can just barely see my ears right here. And oh, let's add, I'm gonna add a neck and also t-shirt <laughs> <laughs> and my shoulders. <laughs> there we go. I am screaming because I got scared by something. It's probably you coming up on me in gorilla tag. Yeah. Or me scaring you while you're wearing the VR. Oh yeah, that's the worst too. And someone comes up and you don't know they're right behind you or beside you. And then they touch you lightly on the back. Yeah. You're like, there's a bone on me! <laughs> we did awesome. We finished drawing our Oculus headsets, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yes, this is my favorite part. We are going to fast forward, so remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings. You ready to speed things up? Yeah. like this is actually we're on VR. I know, it does. And I also like that these look like eyes. Yes. <laughs> we look like we're part machine. We have four eyes. Awesome, give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring. Well, it turned into self-portraits yeah. of us wearing our Oculus headset. And I especially love yours. All the messy hair, that's my favorite. Well, also the bald head. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I added little shiny marks on top. <laughs> I hope our friends will pause the video and color their drawings too. Yeah, it looks so much better all colored in. You could also even drop maybe a sibling back here getting ready to scare you. <laughs> just yeah. peeking over your shoulder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I also love that we changed this drawing and made it look like ourselves. And I hope our art friends will do the same. If you have long hair, you could draw really long hair. You could also change the tone of your skin and also Maybe you're wearing a hat. We used our Art for Kids hub markers to color our drawings. And if you have the same set, you can use the same colors. We use CG1 as a shadow, a light gray for the bottom of the Oculus. And then what color did we use for the padding? CG9. Yeah, that's a really dark gray, almost looks black. Then we used a light blue for the shading on the teeth, and that's 182. And for the tongue, we used 341. Yeah, and I also love your green stripes. It looks like the shirt you're wearing right now. <laughs> yeah. And that's 57 green. I used 66 blue for my shirt. We used 97 for the skin tone and also 100 for the little shadow underneath the Oculus headset. But remember, you can change your skin tone to match yours. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing the Oculus Quest 2. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we hope you had even more fun adding yourself wearing it. Yeah. We'll see you later, our friends. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, our friends, you're gonna draw a pirate. Yeah, we're gonna draw Jack Sparrow. We hope you're gonna follow along and need your drawing supplies. We're using markers, but you can use whatever you have at home or in the classroom. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Because we're using markers to draw and color with, we're also using marker paper to draw on. This helps protect our table and also keep our markers lasting longer. Okay, let's start by drawing Jack Sparrow's nose. We're gonna draw it in the middle of our paper. We're gonna draw a little towards the top so that we have room for his body below. Let's draw a little curve like that. Almost looks like a smile, a little smile. <laughs> then we're gonna draw the eyes. Let's draw a circle this size on the left and the same size circle on the right. Yeah. Then let's draw a smaller circle in the top left of each eye or an oval. And this is for the highlight. We're going to color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. This part will speed up. So remember, if you need extra time during any part of the lesson, you can always... Pause the video. Yes. Pause the video. Now let's draw his mouth. And we could draw it smiling. We could also draw it open. 
I think I'm going to draw mine open. Smiling, but open. Yeah. And then let's draw his mustache. I'm going to draw two lines right here underneath his nose and above his mouth. <laughs> yeah. And then we're going to draw his mustache curving around his uh, smile. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. This is the bottom of his mustache. And then we're going to draw the top. We're going to draw another curve that comes out to a point on each side. Let's start there and then curve down. And then let's also color these two shapes in. Then we could also, if you want, you could connect the very top, but leave a little space at the bottom or leave the space on all the way up. Okay, now let's draw the bottom of, he has a little goatee like me. <laughs> we're going to draw a little line under the smile and then we're going to draw the letter V underneath that. Yes, and then we're going to color that upside down triangle in. It's already starting to look like him, huh? Yeah. Okay, now let's draw the shape of his face. We're going to start here next to his eye, and we're going to draw a letter U that comes under like this, across, and then we're going to come back next to the other eye, and we want the side of his head to be right above each eye. So you can extend each side so that it lines up with the top of his eyes. Then let's finish his beard underneath his chin. We're going to draw the letter W. We're going to come down, up, and then back down and back up. He's got them split because he has braids, two braids for his beard. Yeah. And then let's color in those shapes. His beard is a little darker, so we'll color it in black, but we're going to color his hair brown. Well, let's draw the braids coming down. We could draw a little U shape right here, down and back up. We could also draw a little bead at the end of each side. And then if you want, you could add a little extra part of his beard coming down further. <laughs> I like his beard. Yeah. <laughs> Two braids. Then let's draw the headband going across his eyes. So we're going to go past the side of his head and I'm turning my paper sideways. So it's a little easier to see, but we're going to draw a curve that comes across and connects on both sides, but it goes past. Yeah, and then let's draw the side of his headband coming up on each side. Then let's connect the top of his headband or the bandana. And then we can draw the top of his hair. I'm going to draw a U shape, an upside down U shape that comes up like this. And you could draw it kind of wobbly since this is his hair coming across. Let's also draw some beads coming down from his headband. I'm going to draw them right here. So I'm drawing little U shapes or ovals coming down his headband or in front of it. And then I also think he has this really long piece of bone, maybe. We're going to draw it coming down diagonally and then up. And we'll just connect it right here to the top of his headband. We could also go a little past if we want like a little curve there. Yeah. Okay. And also we could draw some of his braids coming down in front of his face. Let's draw one that comes down like this. And then we're going to curve back up. Oh, I'm going to draw another one right next to it too. I'm going to come down like this and maybe a little further and then back up. Now it's really starting to look like Jack. Let's change a little over here on this hair. I'm going to draw some hair sticking out of the side. Yeah. And then we can draw more of his braids coming down further. He has a lot of braids in his hair. We're going to draw one coming down and then we could draw maybe another one coming down a little further. And also maybe this braid right here is actually a bunch of beads. So we could draw lines going all the way up. Yeah, that looks really cool. We're going to add more hair a little later. Let's switch to drawing his body. We're going to draw two lines coming down on each side of his beard. We'll draw one here and one over here on this side. Then let's draw two lines going across this way. Kind of looks like we're drawing the letter H. This is for his belt. We could also draw a little buckle in the middle. Let's draw a big letter V that comes down in between his beard. <laughs> and that's his shirt. And then we has an outside shirt. We could draw two lines 
coming down the side. And we're going to imagine those going underneath the belt and coming down past on each side. So that same line that comes down further. And then down here at the bottom, let's connect those two lines together. And he has a little sash or some kind of bandana that's sticking out or tucked into his belt. Let's draw a little shape here on the right side. And then we'll imagine it going behind the belt also and coming down here. That could also be a gun uh, in his belt. Okay, let's keep going. We're going to draw his legs next. We're going to draw an upside down V right here. This is for the inside of his legs. And then we're going to draw the outside of his legs right here, coming down further to match on each side. Now let's draw his toes. We'll start here, draw a curve that comes out and down. And then let's draw his toes on the other side, going the other direction, but matching. And then let's draw the rest of his boot. We're going to draw it going across and up. So we'll draw the bottom of his boot and then we'll connect up to the middle of his leg. And then we'll draw the bottom of the other boot coming across and connecting up also. Yeah. Let's draw the top of his boots. We're going to draw two lines right here on his leg and also on the other leg. He's looking really cool, except we're missing two things on each side. His arms. Yeah, his arms. And let's draw puffy sleeves. We're going to start here on his shoulder and we're going to curve out like this and then back in. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. We'll draw really puffy pirate sleeves. <laughs> and then we're going to draw the cuff at the bottom of the sleeve. It kind of looks like his hands are behind his uh, body. Right oh here. yeah, it does. And then we'll draw that cuff over here also. And then his hand will keep really simple. We're going to connect the cuff into, we'll just draw a curve into his legs on each side. And then we can also add a really small curve for his thumb. Yeah. Now we need to add even more hair. Let's draw some wavy lines right here coming down. I'm going to draw a wavy line over here on this side too. And then oh, let's add even a couple more wavy lines. And we could also draw another braid maybe on each side. And then right here at the bottom of those wavy lines, we can connect them into each other. So I'm going to draw another, like, I'll draw a little diagonal line to connect on each side. And then we'll connect over here too. We did it. Also, we finished drawing Jack Sparrow, except we still need to do one more thing. Color it. Yeah, this is my favorite part. Let's pick out the colors. We're using our Art for Kids Hub alcohol-based markers. If you have the same set, we picked out a lot of colors. And you can follow along with us and use the same numbers. We have 103 brown, 97 is kind of a lighter brown, a peach color. We'll use that for the skin. 103 is for the hair, the brown. And then we have 23 orange, 46 green, 82 purple for his clothes and the beads, and also 15 red for the bandana. Let's start by drawing or coloring his hair with 103 brown. Also remember, you don't have to use the same markers. If you have a different brand, that works great. You could also use something completely different like colored pencils. Let's start by coloring in his hair. We're using 103 brown, and we're gonna color in the top of his hair and also his braids the longer part of his hair, but we're not going to color this braid right here that actually has all of the beads. This part will fast forward, so remember to pause the video and take extra time to color in your drawings. We're also coloring his boots, and another thing you could do with the markers, you can let the layer dry, the first layer, and then you can add a second layer with the same color on top of it to make the brown darker. And I think his hair is a little bit darker than this color, so I thought it would be fun to add another layer, especially where there's shadow or darker parts in his hair, like here and also on the other side. Let's also color in a few of the beads on his braids with the brown. And then let's switch to our red marker and we can color in his headband. Again, this is number 15 red in our marker set. I'm also going to add a few red beads. 
Next, let's switch to 97. This is a light brown and, or kind of a peach color. We're gonna use this for his face and also his hands. Also, don't forget to color his chest and finish off with his hands. Okay, now let's also switch to our purple. We're gonna color his clothes. I'm gonna color here, straight down, and then also below the belt. Oh, we could also color the belt brown. I'm gonna switch back to 103 for that, for his belt. But this is 82 purple for this little jacket that he has on the outside. Oh, we also need blue for his pants. I'm gonna add another layer of this purple on top to make it even darker. And then also switch back to that 103 for his belt. We picked out a new color, 62. This is a blue color for his pants. Let's also use this blue color for some of the beads in his hair. And then uh, I'm gonna switch to green. I'm not sure <laughs> if he has green beads, but I'm gonna use that for the top. And then also this orange color for the bottom. Kinda looks brown too. And then let's switch to red one more time and add little stripes. Whoops, we're gonna add little stripe down this piece of cloth in his belt. And this next part you could leave off, but I'm using a white colored pencil to add a little more highlight or make the highlights bigger in his eyes. If you want to, you can add that. Oh, and also if you want, you could add a smaller little highlight next to it. That's why I like using the white Prismacolor colored pencil. You can add the highlights back on top of the marker. And then I have also a blue, a light blue, that you could add another highlight. So we have three highlights in, in our reflections in our eyes. So we got the big one, small one, and then we also got this blue one that's down at the bottom. Maybe this is the ocean reflecting into his eyes. It's yeah. kind of cool, huh? Mm -hmm. We did it! We finished drawing and coloring Jack Sparrow. He turned out so cool. I especially love your drawing. Thank you. Yeah, you can pause the video right now to add even more things to your drawing. What, oh, what could they draw? A background. Oh yeah, but specifically what could they draw? They could draw him on a boat. Oh yes, on the Black Pearl? Yeah, or like stranded at sea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could draw him on an island all by himself. You could also draw, oh, he's missing his hat. Oh, you yeah. could add a hat. You could even draw different clothes on him. You could also even draw treasure or even oh, other pirates chasing after him. Yeah. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing Jack Sparrow. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Dinosaur. Yeah, well, actually a nachosaurus, <laughs> a dinosaur with nachos on its back instead of spikes. Yeah. And then also I think we should add a volcano with salsa. Yeah. <laughs> we hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers and you also need some paper and solid color. With. Yeah, but you can use whatever you have at home or in the classroom. And because we're using markers to draw and color with, we're also using marker paper to draw on. That just helps keep our markers lasting longer so they don't dry out very fast. Yeah. All right, you ready to start? Yeah. We have our paper horizontal so that we have more room to draw our dinosaur and also the volcano. Let's start by drawing our dinosaur and then we'll add the nachos at the end after, after we draw our dinosaur. So let's draw a big curve. We're gonna draw a cartoon dinosaur. We're gonna draw a big kind of rainbow line that comes up and down. And then let's curve around for the tail, right here at the end. And we could also draw a little curve that comes like this and then in. And that's for the head. <laughs> let's, let's draw the head a little bit bigger. We're gonna come further. There we go. <laughs> then let's draw an eye. We're gonna draw a circle right here. And then we're gonna draw a smaller circle inside for the highlight. And then we're gonna color in the big circle but leave that little circle white. Let's draw a little smile for our dinosaur's happy face. <laughs> and we could also add a nostril. <laughs> Can't forget the nostrils. Now let's draw the first leg. We're gonna draw a square U. We're gonna come down, over, and up. 
<laughs> <laughs> then we can also draw another foot or leg right next to it right here that's shorter. So it looks more 3D. Then let's imagine this line going behind the front leg and coming out for the belly. We're going to draw a really short belly line. Then let's draw another square U shape for the back leg. Cool. Then we can also draw that same L, letter L, for the other back leg to make it look more 3D. And then let's finish the tail. We're going to imagine the belly line going behind the back leg. And then we're going to come down like this, curve up, and connect. There's our main shape for our dinosaur. Oh, let's add toes. We're going to add two upside down U's and maybe just one on the legs behind our dinosaur. And then we'll draw two on the back leg. I really like the shape of your dinosaur. <laughs> and I love that our two dinosaurs don't look exactly the same. They're both turning out awesome. And it's okay if your dinosaurs look different than ours too, because the most important thing is- To have fun. Yeah, and to- Practice. Practice. Remember to have fun and practice. Okay, let's keep going. What should we add next? The nachos. Yeah, let's draw chips. We're gonna draw triangle shapes, but at the top of the triangle, we're gonna draw a little curve so it's not Sharp. It's not a sharp chip. <laughs> there you go. And then let's draw another chip. I'm going to draw it right here. We're going to come down the front of our... Oh, that was a bigger curve than this one. That's okay. Then let's add another one right here. I'm going to add another upside down V shape. Oh, I'm going to add another one too, right here coming down the back. Yeah. Oh, and let's add even more nacho chips. We're going to draw smaller Vs in between these spikes or chips. There we go. So you can never have too many chips, right? Yeah. Oh, you could even add another one there. I'm going to just draw a little one right there. Oh, and we could also draw a little one down here too. Oh, and maybe another one. <laughs> Another one right here. Okay, it doesn't, it just looks like chips or spikes. What are we missing? The nacho cheese. Yeah, let's draw drippy nacho cheese. I'm going to draw a wavy line. Oh, and maybe some of the drips will come down even further. Like this. And yeah, you can switch and change the little drips. So some of them are small and some are big. Oh, and also we could add little drips on the nacho chips too. I'm going to add a couple drips on each of these. They look like mountains with snow on the top. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to draw a drip right here. Oh, and maybe also coming down off the edge of the chip. I'm going to do that over here on this chip too. And I'm going kind of fast. So if you need to remember, you can pause the video for extra time. Also remember, you don't have to draw exactly like us. You can change and add more cheese or less cheese. <laughs> you could also add extra things. Oh, maybe salsa. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's going to come out of our volcano, too. You could draw guacamole. You could also draw what else do we like on our nachos? Oh, jalapenos. Oh, yeah. That would be really good, too. Should we draw our volcano next? Yes. Okay, let's do it. We're going to draw the shape first. So we're going to come up and then we're going to come over and then we're going to come back down and it's kind of a small volcano. <laughs> <laughs> then we can draw the little bottom to our volcano. I'm going to draw just a wavy line that comes over and connects. Yes, and then let's draw the lava or the salsa coming out. I don't know what's going to make it look like salsa. Maybe we need to add some tomatoes. I'm going to add a wavy line that comes down like this, and then we'll have some of that salsa coming down on the sides. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we can also draw salsa coming down the front. Maybe that's what we need to add. We need to add little tomatoes. I'm going to add little chunks on top and little squares on the side too. <laughs> it's just going to look like lava. Yeah. 
That's okay. <laughs> we know it's salsa. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And um, also, maybe we should add some guacamole. Um, where should we add it? Right here. Oh, sour cream too. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add a little curve lined here and also here. So this is going going to be our guacamole. I'm gonna add a little curve in the middle, and then let's add some sour cream on top. We'll add two bumps like this. And then at the very top, let's curve going the other way. Then we'll start at the top, curve down. It's kind of like we're making ice cream or, <laughs> or the poop emoji. <laughs> there we go. That's our, that's our sour cream. Our drawing is a little crazy, but we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, it's going to look even tastier once we color it. This part will fast forward, so remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings also. You ready to speed things up? Yeah. We finished drawing and coloring our nacho sores and turned out so cool. Yeah. This is now one of my new favorite lessons. Same. <laughs> you can pause the video right now to match our same coloring or you can color any way you want. You can also add extra things like tomatoes shooting out of the volcano. Yeah, <laughs> we added that. We also added cheese drops on the ground and we also added spikes to the tail. Yeah, and tomatoes on top of the nachos. Oh yeah, we used our Art for Kids Hub markers to color our drawings with. If you have the same set, you can use the same number of colors as we did. And what color did we use for our, our dinosaur? 57 green. Yeah, and we also used 35 yellow and 34 orange for the nacho cheese. Then we used 24 for the chips and also 103 to add the texture, which is a darker brown. Then we used 48 green for the guacamole and we also used 182 for shading on the sour cream. Next we used CG5 for the volcano. Yeah, that's a gray color. And then we also used 11 red for the tomatoes and two for the sauce. We will be a lot of fun drawing and not just stories. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Bye Goodbye. Bye. Friends, to draw B. Yeah, for Valentine's Day. Be my Valentine's. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need something to draw with, some paper, and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. <laughs> because we're using markers to draw and color with, we're also using marker paper to draw on. Okay, first let's draw the shape of our B, and we're gonna draw a really cute one, a funny one too. We're gonna draw a curve like this. I'm gonna curve it like that. And then we're gonna draw a curve coming around. Watch this, we're gonna turn it into a big jelly bean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna curve around like this and then into <laughs> the curve where I already started. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's the perfect shape. I love it, Austin. I love that our two shapes don't look exactly the same, but they both turned out awesome. And it's okay if your drawings look different too, because the most important thing is- To have fun. And to- Practice. Practice, have fun and practice. Okay, let's keep going. Next, let's draw our bee's face. I'm just gonna draw a little smile right here. <laughs> and then let's draw the eyes. I'm just gonna draw a small <laughs> eye right here and also the same size on the other side. <laughs> and then <laughs> we could also draw the antenna. I'm gonna draw one curve right here, <laughs> and then another curve right here coming into the bean shape. <laughs> yes, now we need to draw the stripes on our bee. I'm gonna start here and draw a curve that comes around like this. And then we're gonna draw another stripe right next to it. This is the other side of the stripe. I'm gonna draw it coming down a little further. See how it's closer here and then further away down at the bottom. And then let's draw another one right here. And let's draw another one right next to it. I love that your stripes are thinner. They're not as wide as mine. You even have more room for another stripe right here at the very back. 
I'm gonna leave mine with just two stripes and then we could add the little stinger at the end. I'm gonna draw a sideways V that comes out and back in. Yes, and then let's draw the wings. We're gonna draw two raindrop shapes. I'm gonna draw one and they're kind of upside down raindrop shapes. And I'm gonna draw a little line in the middle. We're gonna draw a sideways raindrop shape coming out this way and back in. And then we could draw a little line in the middle of that wing. All right, now we need to draw the legs and also the arms. <laughs> I, love your, I love your beast so much. Now let's draw the legs. I'm gonna draw one leg sticking out this way. And this one's gonna have the heart. So let's draw two guide points, but I'm gonna space them out like this. So we're kind of, the arms come in this way and then the guide points are this way. We're gonna draw a curve that comes out to the left, around, and then when we get to here, we're gonna go straight into the bottom guide point. You can also turn your paper this way if it's a little easier. There you go. And then we're gonna draw the other side to match. So we'll curve around and then straight in to complete the heart. Then let's draw another arm coming behind so it's hanging on to the heart. And then let's draw two more legs here and two more legs right here. I'm gonna draw them curving back. <laughs> awesome, we did it. We finished drawing our <laughs> Valentine's bee and it's one of my new favorite lessons. Yeah. <laughs> but we're not completely done. We still need to- Color it. Yeah, this part we'll fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Awesome, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our Valentine bees and they turned out perfect, especially yours. Yours is my favorite. That <laughs> face is amazing. Thank you. You can pause the video right now to match our same coloring or you can color your drawings any way you want. You can even add extra details, even a background. Oh, you could turn this into a Valentine's homemade card. Yeah, you can fold the paper first and then draw the V. Yeah, and you could even write Be My Valentine underneath it. Yeah. You could also do this lesson all over again and draw another bee right next to it. So this one is giving the heart to another bee. We used our Art for Kids Hub alcohol-based markers to color with. If you have the same set, we used 35 yellow for the bee. And then we also used 23 orange, 182 blue. Oh yeah, we used the orange for the antenna and the 182 light blue we used for the wings. What was the color we used for the heart? 15 red. Yeah, and I also used color pencils, a pink color pencil for the cheek, and a white color pencil to add little highlights. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your funny bees. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.